All right, Bram, thank you. Also new tonight, Arizona may be getting more nuclear power. The big three utilities in the state say that they are targeting a study and looking for federal funding to see if building new nuclear power plants may be good for this growing state. All new at six, journalist William Pitts explains what it could all look like. Arizona has a giant nuclear power plant. Palo Verde Generating Station has been going since 1986. Soon, though, we might have more. APS, SRP, and Tucson Electric Power have teamed up to figure out if they want more nuclear power. APS says it doesn't know what kind of nuclear plant it'll want. There are two options, the big giant Palo Verde style with the cooling towers and something more like this, a miniature nuclear reactor. Last November, APS's president talked to 12 News about those plug and play reactors. One of the keys is standardization. If you can standardize the design, that allows you to accelerate the permitting and licensing for these small modular reactors. APS has a lot of land that used to be coal power plants, like the Navajo Generating Station in Page. Popping a nuclear reactor in there would be pretty easy. The quicker we can get to reliably install new nuclear, the quicker we can continue to responsibly decarbonize the grid. Yes, we will be looking at sites where coal plants are retiring as part of those uh, potential opportunities. Brian Cole with APS says something has to happen. Palo Verde pumps out a lot of power, but it's not enough anymore. Everybody uses their share of Palo Verde. So uh, it is very, very valuable resource in the Southwest. It's one of the cornerstones, frankly, in the Southwest. The state uses hydroelectric, solar, wind, but SRP says they need something they know will always work all the time, no matter what because the state needs more and more power every year. You've already got the substations, the high voltage transmission lines, the water resources. Paul Walker is an energy market consultant in Phoenix. He says wind and solar are good, but not enough. Their power quality, is what it's called, isn't great. It's not really very good even. But when you combine it with nuclear and then you have natural gas plants that you can operate to fill in the margins, then you start getting this really good quality of power. Walker and APS say there are very few safety concerns with nuclear power anymore, and it may be the solution to cheap, more environmentally friendly power that the state needs. APS says this will take at least three years to even figure out if they want to go forward. It might be at least 2040 before anything's built. William Pitts, 12 News. Well, thanks.